the Romantics. Senator Jimmy, come on down here. I'll let you do the introductory chores. This is Jimmy Marinos. Nice doing? to have you. You got a workout back there. Nice Thank to see you. you. I'm sorry? Mike Skill. Thank you, Mike. Wally Palmer. Wally, nice to have you. Oh, yeah. Breathless, breathless. <laughs> Richard Cole. Nice to have you with us. You know, I listened to that when you were rehearsing. I said, gee, that reminds me of the early days of the English invasion and all. Who influenced your music? I better not talk to you. Let me get a man who's in better shape. Where, 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 uh, what were shape. your roots? Uh, a lot of Detroit music. Yeah. Um, the energy of it. Uh, Late 60s, uh, groups like the MC5 and the uh, studios that was happening uh, in Detroit at the time were pretty influenced by them, as well as the uh, British invasion that was happening in the 60s, the Beatles, Stones, Howie's, Kinks. Yeah, people make that analogy all the time or draw their we comparison. We kind of got a mixture of it all. Why, if you're from Detroit, do you record in Miami Beach? Well, let's see. Have you gotten see. lost? <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't in, in, invite us down here to L.A., you know, to record, so we didn't have an open invitation here, yeah, so we yeah, decided yeah. to get on to Miami. No, it's a good sense. A lot of people worked on there. Did you do this album there? Yeah, the album right now, is it was recorded in Miami Beach. Uh, I don't know if we're going to record the next one there. It depends. It life changes. Depends how the weather is. Depends on how much traveling you do and where you are. Jimmy, you, you talk about paying dues. The guys who were on in the first half hour worked over oh, 10, 12 years together. Do you think that at this stage of your life that you've worked hard to get, get to where you are? Well, I, I guess it doesn't uh, appear to come off that way because, okay, we've only been together three years as this present lineup, but actually we've been together since uh, individually in band since we were 13, and uh, we're a little about 10 years older than that now, and we're still trying, so... Uh, still chipping away. You're making good progress, but that entails working in crummy clubs, being an opening act. What's the strangest opening act combination you ever worked for, the biggest crowd? And we opened up? Yeah. Oh, jeez. There's been some really... Uh, I mean, people that you just didn't match up with. I mean, well, you just maybe shouldn't well, name yeah, anybody. Yeah, you wouldn't want us to do that. Uh, what's the biggest crowd you ever worked for? Uh, we did an uh, 80,000 uh, seat thing in Detroit. Around the uh, second month we were together, we played with uh, uh, Peter Frampton and uh, Steve Miller and Jay Giles. It was uh, quite an experience for us at the time, still wet behind the ears. We you know the unusual combinations. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix was the opening act for the, for the Monkees at one time, really? and the opening act for Herman's Hermits was The Who at one time. So there were about a lot of weird things. What's the next song called? Okay, this is another one off our album. It's called When I Look in Your Eyes. Why don't you jump back there? I'll get out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, The Romantics.